baskets of shellfish and then in front of me are huge snails, biggest snails I've ever seen, hundreds of them. And the reason I'm here is to ask people how they've been affected by Nigeria's worst economic crisis in many, many years. No money. No money. Everybody say no money, no money, no money. So are people still coming, but they're buying less they, fish? They, they come, but not like before. So what was it like before? People would come, they buy swordfish, they buy lobster, they would buy yes, a yes. kilo of prawns. They buy a kilo at times. The restaurant will supply 100 kilo, 200 kilo, but you see it falls now to 50, 20, 10. At times, none at all. And in 20 years, this is the worst you've ever seen? This is the worst. I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I'm only thinking of relocating to another place. Moving to another market? No, to another country if, if I have the chance. I'm tired of this place. My name is Sheung. At the moment, things are not really the way they used to be. But very soon, things will catch up again. Why are you so optimistic that things are going to change? Oh, well, I'm optimistic because, you know, it happens everywhere when there's a change of government. You know, things would look as if it's static, stagnant. But at the same time, if you keep hoping and you know, working on it, things will pick up again. My name is Christy Ula. It's really not been easy because everything is double the price right now. And it's difficult because salaries are not going up. And we're in front of baskets of snails. Are you a snail fan? Yeah, yeah. I'm River Rank, so we eat snails. How many snails are you going to buy for today? I mean, like 20. But maybe, what, a year ago you'd have bought 40? Yeah, I would have. Because I still have my fridge, but now I can't afford so much. Do you think things are going to get better? Uh, yeah, things are going to get better. But it's going to take a long time. It's not so soon. Well, as we have there, it's been a rough year for many Nigerians. The government now has made moves to try and improve the economy. One of their big new policies is to liberalise the foreign exchange rate. And that will make it easier, according to analysts, for businesses to get their hands on dollars. And that's important because many products, as well as parts for machinery, are imported. The problem with the policy is that it's likely to push up inflation. And that will hit the poorest in the country even harder. But economists say that the short-term pain should lead to longer-term gains for the Nigerian economy. And the people at this market are certainly hoping that that is the case. That's Martin Patience uh, at a fish market.